Pizza Cafe YouTube and let us make some of my delicious oxtail soup. Before I jump into this video, I just want to remind you of my new ebook that just came out called The Bon Manger that translates to Good Food in St. Lucian Creole. Be sure to check it out and purchase. And for all of you who've purchased so far, I appreciate you so much and thank you for supporting me. Now, let's jump into this oxtail soup. In my bowl, I have one kilogram of oxtail that's been washed and cleaned with lime and vinegar. And I'm just drizzling a little bit of oil and some salt onto it, as well as some garlic powder and some black pepper. You can season it however you like, but I'm just lightly seasoning mine today. I also went in with some fresh thyme and on this chopping board here I have some fresh herbs from my garden. Listen, I love my little herb garden so much, okay? I have some garlic, some parsley, some thyme, some onion and listen, all the good stuff. I even have some celery, nice and fresh from the garden. So all I'm doing, I am just chopping it up. You don't have to do it too small. Guys, if you know me, you know I love some good old green seasoning, huh? But it's fine. Today we're chopping it up instead of blending it up. And it's gonna work just as good, if not better. Hmm. <laughs> So guys, as you can see here, I'm just massaging my seasonings into that oxtail just so it can get some extra little flavor, okay? And the fresh herbs smell so good. Now I'm just covering up with some clear up because I'm going to be popping this into my fridge for about 30 minutes, nothing too long, just so it can marinate for a little bit before we cook it up okay so set this to one side for my soup i'm going to be using some baby potatoes i really love the flavor of these i'm also going to be having it with some sweet corn and some christophine what do they call this where you're from i also have some scotch bonnet peppers i have one dashin I also have a nice piece of pumpkin I got from the market today. These are just a few of the things that's going to be going in my soup. 
So I've got my nice cast iron pan. I just added some oil to heat up. And now I am just putting in my oxtails. Note how I didn't add in any of the seasonings in there. I left it to the side and I am just braising it just a little bit, okay, for about five minutes to give it a little bit of color, just to braise it down just a little bit, okay. So all you do is just put it into the oil and just flip it on either side for about two, three minutes. And then all you're going to do is to just add in the leftover herbs from the bowl. I added about three cups of water to it, but just always ensure that the oxtails is covered with the liquid before you put it to boil, okay? I also added some cinnamon and some scotch bonnet pepper, and I'm going to let this boil for about two hours. And this is how it's looking after two hours. So nice and soft nice and tender as you can see the oxtail is breaking apart easily and this is how i love it to get before i add in anything else okay so now i'm gonna remove some of that thyme it's already served its purpose as you can see no leaves on so we're just gonna take off all of those thyme stalks from our pot So since my oxtails are cooked, this is where I go in with some carrots. I forgot to show it at the start, but hey, who makes soup without carrots? Not me. <laughs> I am adding in my carrots and I'm also going to be adding in my Christophin and some dashin. Okay, I used about two medium carrots for this. I also put a new scotch bonnet pepper in because the first one was starting to burst and hey, that pot was going to be extremely spicy had I left it in. So this is why I put a fresh one in since I removed the other one. Okay, so add your dashin, add in your Christophin, add everything you want to put to the pot except the dumplings. We're going to leave that for last because, you know, dumplings takes about 5-10 minutes to cook. So now that everything has been added to the pot, I've stirred it up nicely and I'm going to let it boil for about 5-10 minutes because it doesn't take long for everything to cook. And this is where I go in with my dumplings, okay? To make dumplings are super easy. I just used about a cup of flour and a little pinch of salt and sugar and some water. And there you have it. It's a very easy dumpling. So I have some long ones, some flat ones. And I am just going to allow it to boil for five minutes. And this is it, guys. Dumplings take little to no time to cook. And this is why I love them so much. I also tasted it for salt and it was missing a little something so instead of adding salt I added in this chicken flavored um, noodle soup and yes so so good so I'm gonna give that about maybe five ten minutes for that chicken noodle soup to cook and it will be all ready my darling so the oxtail is already falling off the bone and make sure I did forget to mention that you allow your oxtails to cook two hours on the lowest heat that way you can cook low and slow so this is how my oxtail soup is looking and guys it's all done dashin is cooked pumpkin everything is nicely cooked and i did serve myself a nice bowl of this gorgeous soup i do hope you enjoy the recipe it is literally the most perfect comfort food and even though it did have a few little twists of my own, this is definitely a Caribbean favorite. So guys, make sure to subscribe on your way out. Make sure to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to purchase my new ebook called Bon Manger by visiting www.terrianskitchen.com. And I will definitely see you again in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.